Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at Varogs and the spread operator in Kotlin. So let's say we have a function and we want to pass some number of arguments to it, but that number of arguments is going to be different from time to time. Let's create a function here called display fruit. So let's say I create three positional arguments, then I can only pass three names of fruits to this function. And that's not what I want. I want to be able to pass in however many fruits I want. And we can do that with the varog keyword. So I write varog here, and then we have our parameter. Let's call it fruits and make it of type string. Now, when I call the function, I can call it like this. So let's say display fruit, and I'm gonna pass in however many strings I want. Let's have banana and apple and orange. Three is enough to demonstrate the principle, I think. Now, what happens is these are gonna get put into an array, which is going to emerge here. So fruits is going to be an array, and we can iterate over it using the technique that we've seen previously. So let's say for fruit, for example, in fruits, and then let's just do print line on fruit. And let's run it. And we can see we've printed out the names of our fruits on the console. Now, sometimes you've already got the values that you want to pass in to a varag function in an array. Let's create an array of fruits. So I'll say here, fruits equals array of, and let's have kiwi, pear, and grape. Let's have another one for good measure, persimmon. Hopefully I've spelt that correctly. And we need val or var here, so let's use val by default. And the question is, how would we pass this array to this function? We can't just pass it straight in to this var args parameter here, that wouldn't work. Let's try it and we'll see it doesn't work. So if I do display fruit, fruits, that's just gonna give me an error. But if I type an asterisk in front of that, this is known as the spread operator. And in the context of a varog parameter like this, this will basically make it fit into that varog parameter. So that's the only context you can use it in as far as I know. Let's run this. And you can see that we've successfully called the function again right here. Now every function can only have one varog parameter and you can combine it with positional and named parameters. And if you do that, the same considerations are gonna apply that we've previously seen when you're combining named or keyword parameters with positional parameters. That is, if you've only got positional parameters, this one would have to come at the end of the list, otherwise there's gonna be confusion. Otherwise, you can not explicitly name the parameters and then that restriction doesn't apply. So that's it for this video. Until next time, happy coding.